Hi, I'm Israel Jabba Singh, the Director of Officers AS Academy. Now, one big question amongst all civil service aspirants, even for the general public, what will be the salary of an IAS officer? See, I was in Indian Administrative Service, but it was long before. So, I thought, what is the present salary? What at the starting from Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy training till Chief Secretary post, what will be the salary drawn by an IAS officer? So, I thought I'll interview my student, Mr. Arun Raj, who has recently passed out of academy and also he has completed his SDO ship. Arun, thank you for joining us. So, what was your salary in Lal Bodhur Shastri National Academy of Administration? And some students will want to know whether from first day onwards, once they join training, whether they are entitled for salary. Uh, definitely from the first month onwards, we will be entitled to our salary. That is after you finish 30 days after you join, uh -huh. we will get our salary. And, uh, and the take home would be approximately around 30,000. Okay, 30,000 in Masuri. Yes. But the 30,000, whether food bill and all you have to pay, are already paid after the 30,000. It's already directed from a salary. Okay. And after that, we will give you 30,000. So then approximately 40, 45,000 because yes. food bill should be around 10,000, right? Yes, yes. And, and accommodation, accommodation is also, also there. Yeah. Some t shirts, Masuri track, so yeah. many things they used to yeah. give. Okay, good. So 45,000. Okay. Then after that, in phase one, once you complete your phase one in Masuri, you will come to the district training. That is also part of training. Yes? Yes. No, district training, whether there will be increase in salary or it will continue the same. In uh, district training, our salary would be slightly higher because the food the charges which Masuri is detecting is not being detected here. Mm. So it will be around, uh, take home will be around 45,000. So take home will be 45,000. Yes. Once you are in the district training, yeah. okay, and accommodation they will provide. Accommodation will be provided in many places. If accommodation is not provided, uh, they will give you house rent allowance. So that will be around another ten. That will be around. Uh, it is around uh, some percentage of your basic pay will be calculated as house rent allowance. Uh -huh. So it will be around. Let us say approximately ten thousand. Okay, around fifty five thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay, as a sub collector, okay, that is the first time you will be joining mm -hmm. the job. Means on the job now. As a sub collector, what is the salary? As a sub collector, the take home will be 55,000. Okay, 55,000 only. It's, uh, students <laughs> may get decided, only 55,000. <laughs> how about your house and all? How many rooms are there in your house? Houses and all will be provided by the government. Bangla, British Banglas. It will okay. be, most of the areas will be British Banglas. Uh -huh. But in some areas, the new type of. So that and all is part, it is other than Bangla. Yeah. And definitely you would have got one or two cars. Uh, it uh, depends on the place uh, where you are posted. But at least one uh, car? Yeah, cars will be provided. Okay, and cook will be there? And uh, yeah, the garden oh, will be there. You put all costs put together as yes, a driver. Yeah. Okay, so everything put together is yes, 75, 80,000 at least minimum, I am telling you. Okay. You see the cost of company. Uh, CTC part, it's quite higher. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Now, then, as once the sub collectorship is over, what will be the next post? What do you call? The next post would be the rank of additional collector if you are there in the district mm. or it will be called as deputy secretary if you are there in the state government secretariat. Mm. So in this post we will be getting uh, a slightly higher salary. Uh, let us say it will be around the range of uh, 70,000 to uh, 80,000. So this is take home or basic? This is uh, uh, take home after all the deductions which you do for tax as well as uh, okay, yeah. all the pension contributions also we are directed. Okay, other than that HRA should be there. Uh, if you are not staying in your uh, uh, own house, uh, HRA will be given. Uh, uh, that is if you are staying in uh, the, if you are staying in a private house or a own house, the HRA will be given. Mm. And if you are staying in government accommodation, uh, HRA will not be given. Mm. So approximately yes, again a bungalow will be there, whether you are an additional collector yeah. or even in the states in a Chennai city or any other city. Accommodation will be provided. Yeah, that is uh, very costly. So you'll be getting a car, other facilities. Yes. So, okay, good. Then after that, okay, the district collector post. Mm -hmm. I always want to know what is the salary of district collector? The salary of a district collector would be mm -hmm. uh, again in the range of around uh, 1 lakh. 1 lakh. 1 lakh. Uh, okay. After, now, all after all deductions. After all deductions. Take home. Okay. Other than that, definitely a bangla you wouldn't have taken into account. Definitely. The district collector bangla. Okay, definitely. I remember my district collector at that time on ba his bangla used to have a lot of deer park, mm -hmm. palatial bangla. Okay, so yeah. cook, driver, so many cars. Okay, okay. So altogether we can say around two lakh CTC, right? Definitely, we can consider. And any allowance will be there no, for district collector, you know? 
uh, allowances would be uh, there would be the house rent allowance would not be given because mm-hmm. accommodation is given and ta ta remember whenever collectors used to go or even as a sub collector when we travel come back all ta's also yes, extra uh, traveling allowance is given if you want if you are traveling more than a particular distance in a separate uh, in a single day mm-hmm. most of the times collectors and sub collectors have to travel, travel a lot i remember lot of money comes from that area also ta ta yeah you will get approximately uh, let us say around 5000 to 6000 per month uh, as an extra as a traveling okay. allowance okay. Well, that great okay <laughs> okay after that okay then this three collectors and again in northeast they get some additional na, whoever hill area allowance yeah, there is some allowance called as hill allowance so hmm. if you are posted in hill areas even in uh, states other states uh, in hill areas you will get that hill allowance so if the tamil nadu hill greece district the collector will be drawing little more salary Definitely. some 15 Definitely. 20% more i think uh, not that much but hmm. uh, the amount would be considerably lesser okay <laughs> okay now once you collect complete the collectorship what is the next post some hod or joint say some what exactly is it so after you finish collectorship then you will be posted as head of department in uh, tamil nadu government mm. in, in the government uh, state government mm. or uh, you will be posted as a joint secretary uh, in the state government secretary so what will be the salary for them the salary again uh, since there is a jump in rank mm. and uh, there would be uh, you are generally awarded what is called as increment every year 3% mm. of the salary which you are drawing in last year uh, mm. there will be increase over uh, that in this year mm. so the jump in rank also should jump be jump in rank should also be uh, there. there so how much salary approximately so everything is uh, i can say only approximately uh. so it will be approximately a jump of let us say 20 to 25000 So, so one like that twenty five or one, one like thirty thousand, depending on the seniority of that person. And plus HRA is also there, or house will be given, yes. car that and all you are not taking into account. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. approximately then one point seven five, one point eight like yes. CPS. Yes, and they will stay in that band for some time. Uh, that is uh, before they get promoted to the next level. Uh. That person will be staying in the rank of HOD for uh. some three to four years. So every year three percent. So every year the three percent salary is also pay. there. Plus also. they announced this dearness allowance also again tas dearness allowance also would increase uh, mm-hmm. that also in city so compensatory allowance will be there. that also is there so a lot of allowance you are hiding us <laughs> no. okay now then after that secretary post what will be the salary the secretary post uh, that is the junior most secretary mm-hmm. post rank uh, Uh, i'm not sure of the exact uh, pay band mm. uh, that is all the pays are decided according to the seven pay commission mm. Uh, mm. pay band mm. but uh, again approximately i can say that it would be in the range of uh, 1.6 to 1.8 lakhs that range basic or that home. would be the uh, take home plus uh, take home take, take home plus other allowances plus like other that. allowances okay like uh, houses will be given cars and all yeah then next to secretary will be the chief secretary yeah. right yeah. what will be the chief secretary salary the basic pay of a chief secretary is 2.25 lakhs mm. and uh, there are other dearness allowances mm. and uh, the other uh, the all the other allowances mm. uh, so hr if mm. the person is staying in the own house mm. so uh, uh, these uh, along with this you can say approximately around 2.6 to 2.7 lakhs 2.7 lakhs plus yes. month with all allowances with all allowances but again the medical insu- everything is covered by the government ne? that is all the state government employees get uh, medical insurance, insurance so in that also would be in top hospitals the insurance cashless insurance yeah. would be there so that way yes when compared to a Private a person who is working in a private sector, mm-hmm. yes, whatever they say, if they say eighty thousand one lakh, that one lakh is just one lakh. Yes. Whereas for government servants, that whatever one lakh, so don't get disheartened. In addition, bangla's are there, HRA is there, or drivers, vehicles, police escorts, okay, and um, your. What else is there? Yeah, your health insurance. So mm-hmm. everything put together, yes, it's good. But however. it is just seventh pay commission still some more pay commissions will come yeah, and uh, we don't know <laughs> 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 but but then definitely government is a model employer uh-huh. it, uh, because it has all these components it mm. has a good insurance scheme mm. and uh, it uh, ensures that uh, for example women if they want to take a maternity leave they can take for 9 months as mm-hmm. far as tamil nadu government is concerned or even central government employees also have that mm-hmm. in fact tamil nadu government also gives 15 days maternity leave paternity leave which and all concept is also there uh-huh. which uh, many countries around the world don't provide but we are providing and from the government so mm-hmm. it's a definitely government is a model model employer, employer and private they will squeeze for every rupee they give okay here that satisfaction is also yes, there in the government 
So that way you are well paid only. So I am happy. <laughs> so thank you, Arun, for joining us. I hope, students, it was helpful for you. It would have got an enlightenment for you. How much salary as an IAS officer you are entitled to? Thank you.